Just finished my conversation with my friend Mark. He got here a little bit uh, later than normal. I, I forget that Mondays are a different schedule for him and his, uh, his family. I don't know what today is, but I want to talk a little bit about this morning about um, why I use an analog watch. Why I use, well, I guess it's digital, but a non-Apple watch or Garmin watch or whatever watch there is. Which, uh, frank, frankly, you know, I have one. I have a cellular one. I paid 500 bucks for it plus service. Um, works incredibly well, actually, but I don't like it bugging me. I don't like it. And yes, you. I've had people, you could turn off all the settings, but there is something about <clears throat> when you carry around, morning, when you carry around a, a tool with you, uh, you want to use it like so I, I sit there and I'm bored and I look at my watch I'm like oh can I turn this on what does this do and I'm touching my watch versus doing something else it basically it it and and I would argue that by its design it wants you to use it like whoever made this watch the engineers they're trying to make it useful they want you to use it they want to you uh, as a human to engage with it right and I don't want to engage with my watch. I want to look at and figure out the time. I can track, uh, it's it just, it's, I've done all the, it's just not that relevant. When you're, there again, I'll go back to, some data is important for a baseline, right? So you're like, okay, boom, you're 260. Even, even if I, if my heart rate went down and all of that, but I'm still sitting at 265, uh, I made improvement but not enough improvement, in my opinion, to make that great of a difference. Meaning that carrying around an extra 100 pounds of weight, I don't care what you tell yourself, uh, you're, taking, you're taking years off your life. Matter of fact, I'm so pissed off at myself right now because basically I've known this for the last six years and, and I could have reclaimed some time. And every day I sit here and I, and I do something um, that detracts from my health meaning eat some piece of sugar or, or, or a popsicle or, or tell myself it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do better tomorrow. That's just one day I've just lost, one day. Uh, and, and you can't let that happen, but I, I digress. The reason why I use uh, an analog watch in particular, I wanna show you my daily three by five card that I'm gonna implement at a higher level this week. And on the back, if I've got the card over here on the side, hopefully, that you can see, is I write down the hours, right? So I get home at nine. There, I don't eat between, when I, I, I drink coffee. That's one of my vices, right? Uh, but when I get home, it's usually close to nine o'clock after my morning workout. And, and I'm thinking, huh, am I hungry? Do I wanna eat? That's where the first temptation of food comes in. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with eating at nine o'clock if it's something I wanna do. But my point is, on the card, I go from nine to nine. Because by nine o'clock, I'm thinking bed. I don't personally have a problem with uh, eating after nine o'clock. I'm just like, I'm ready to go to bed, I'll read, whatever. My personal struggle is that four to seven o'clock, pre-dinner if you will, where I'm like, I'm kind of hungry, and then I wind up eating too much, and then I'm like, oh, but I got dinner, and that's a whole nother thing. But what I do is this watch beeps on the hour. And I look at this card and I'm like, my objective is not to worry about the whole day. It is, can I survive the next 59 minutes, the next 60 minutes without gobbling down a pizza, without eating ice cream, without giving myself permission, allowing myself going, yes, that's okay, we'll deal with this tomorrow. No, there is no tomorrow, it's the next hour. Am I gonna pick up this card and check that box and you know what, I got that 60 minutes done. And that's something, could I, is there an app for it on my phone? Could I check it off on my phone and all that stuff? Absolutely, but it just drags you into that digital space. It's like it, it, this watch and this card allows me to face my, my, my demon, my, my personal dragon, which is am I gonna put stuff in my mouth that I know I should not? Because I, I probably worked out uh, harder last week, and I feel great, by the way. There are a lot of benefits to, to, to that, but didn't move the scale at all, didn't move the scale. And what happens is, if you you know they're they're they got to move together. You got to push the exercise, and you've got to push the lever of of uh, of your diet. And I pretty much ate kind of what I not anything I wanted, but I ate what I normally would eat. And you know what? I ate what I normally would eat, and uh, not exercise, and I weigh the same. And this week I exercise, 
and I ate pretty much what I normally eat. And I still weigh the same. So the point is the exercise overall did not really do anything from a weight loss. And and what I'm what I'm trying to say is yes, you, you could sit here and say, well, it's only been one week. If you did that exercise for a year, think what would happen. I would agree. But you got to include some type of dietary. And that's what this week's about. This week's theme is moving the needle with my diet. So uh, in 15 seconds, my watch is gonna beep and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Three, two, one. There you go. Now I have to answer the question, in the eight o'clock hour, did I eat off my plan? Yes or no? Simple as that. I hope you're doing well. Let's get it done this week. Hello, afternoon friends. It is one o'clock. I'm on my way to lunch with my good friend, Sean. And I want to give you an update. I was getting dressed. You want to talk about motivation for what we're doing, i.e. trying to lose weight this week, make the scale move in a downward direction uh, as I go to lunch. I uh, spent almost all of 2021 in the 250s, 250 pounds, you know, 255, two, where somewhere in the 250s. I'm in the 260s right now. Because it was a year, you probably have had this experience. I was like, you know what? F it, all my fat clothes, gone. Well, guess what? Those 10 pounds moved me just a hair outside. I Can I put on my shorts? But then I've got the tube effect and it just, I feel horrible in them. My, wife, my wife's like, oh, you look fine. And that's complete bullshit. She's being nice to me. I look like I'm squeezed into a pair of shorts. And I don't know if, how you feel when you're overweight and you're sitting in a pair of shorts uh, or pants that don't really fit. You're more, you're more mindful of your pants than you are the person sitting in front of you and, and trying, to, trying to be proactive or listening to people and that sort of thing, right? Meaning giving up your time, you're, you're, you're self-focused. Um, so my point is the motivation is internal you have to remember when you want to pick up that scoop of ice cream in my case or that cake ball that I ate over the weekend that I shouldn't have eaten because I know where that leads one trigger leads to a very bad place so uh, instead of going oh it won't matter I'll start tomorrow tomorrow is not the right answer that's when I look at my watch and I'm like, hey, it's 12.55. Can I get through this hour without putting a cake ball and a, and a scoop of ice cream in my mouth? And you're like, yes, I can. One hour at a time. One hour at a time. And you gotta remember at that moment, do you really like putting on those fat boy jeans that you've been hiding in the closet so that, so that you can actually wear a pair of pants? No, I don't wanna wear the fat boy jeans. I wanna wear the shorts that I, that I know I like, right? So. You gotta, you gotta talk back to yourself. You gotta talk back to yourself in some positive, uh, in some realistic ways to keep yourself from uh, going off track. Because tomorrow is not an option. What are you doing now? What are you doing? You're gonna, if you, as soon as you break the rule, course correct immediately, right? You take one bite, throw the rest in the trash. That's it. There is no second bite. You reset your mind and you go forward. So I'm in a little bit of a grumpy mood because I had to face the reality that I don't like, which is I'm fat. And uh, and yes, I could go buy bigger clothes again and all that other crap, but I'm not doing it. I've got plenty of nice clothes when, when I was a little thinner and all I gotta do is get five pounds off me. Uh, five pounds sounds like a lot. Maybe if you're like, uh, you know, only got 20 pounds to lose. But when you got 100 pounds to lose, I, I can drop this five pounds pretty quickly couple of weeks maybe maybe even less right it's it's like two or three of it's gonna be water weight and come right off I'm bloated essentially is the point right I'm bloated the point is I'm just trying to talk to myself talk to you to remember it's not worth it whatever you're gonna put in your mouth and justify to yourself when you know that that is a trigger for you it is not worth it write that down a hundred times that's your homework that cookie is not worth it. That cookie is not worth it. That cookie is not worth it. Say it with me. That cookie is not worth it. It's not worth it. Whatever the hell you think you're gonna get in that moment, it is not worth it. Put the cookie down. Put the cookie down. All right, until next time. 
So lunch did not turn out exactly the way I planned. I had to eat at a, eat at a Thai restaurant and it was good, uh, but I had rice and I ate off plan and I immediately felt it. Uh, meaning that, I just put this on the wrong hand. I just felt it, felt the, felt the response, insulin response and did not feel good. So uh, I've not eaten since it is now 7.38 in the p.m. We're gonna do a quick little 20 minute workout here. And then I'm gonna go rucking for 30, 40 minutes and uh, edit this video up and post it up on YouTube. I'm not exactly doing everything I thought I was gonna do with all of this, but uh, you know. So in short, I'm, 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 I'm with a, uh, what James Clear likes to uh, talk about called establishing the habit. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing. Hello, my fellow fellow fatties on your journey to success. We're going to climb that hill. We're going to get there, my friends. Sorry for my uh, freak out before lunch. Oh, man. It just, it's just, put this car fast. It's just when you're trying, right? Then you got to face reality of putting on a pair of a pants and then go to a place and eat that you don't really want to eat at. And all that culmination just is like, why am I in the muck? And, uh, and the reality is there is no devastation. There is no devastation. And I've got a story I want to tell you. What I mean by no devastation is basically like there's no problem we make that up in our mind like there's this big thing so let me tell you a story uh, about four years ago I stopped drinking alcohol and while it was a struggle to get to that point when I look back uh, when I look back I, I stopped drinking alcohol on an October 1 right and when I look back how did I know on January 1, you know, two months later, or how did I know on October 15th that that really truly was, it's a pretty little robin I just saw. So how did I know on, uh, you know, January 3rd, January 5th, January 10th, that that was gonna be my, that, like I would be sober for four years. And the truth is I didn't know. All I did was focus on that day, not drinking. And that's my message. We spend, I think, too much time. We, maybe you can relate to this. I know it's for me of like, oh, I did pretty good. Oh, I kind of messed up. Oh, I did pretty good. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I did pretty good. Oh, I messed up. It's a dance. But see, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just dancing. How goofy is that? I'm dancing in the sidewalk. But the point is, you know what? I'm still fat because I didn't get it done. You've got to progress. You've got to go forward. The exercise is important, but I've got to get the diet under control. And what I mean by no devastation, there's no, there's no like, oh my God. When I didn't drink and I had to go somewhere and I was a little bit fearful of like, uh, they're gonna offer me wine when I first walk in. Oh, what are they gonna think about me if I don't eat, if I don't drink alcohol? All of that's irrelevant. You're healing. You're in. You, you are number one. You are healing yourself. You're healing. I'm healing myself from this obesity. And you know what I would say is, what I would say to myself is, or I would say I would prepare in my mind. Hey, I'm just gonna ask them if they have a diet coke, uh, or can I have a glass of water, or do they have a topo chico, whatever. And, and not worry about it. It's, it's like, this is my thing, not theirs. If I go to a place like a Thai restaurant and it's fried and it's who knows what they're doing with the food, you just say, hey, you know what? I'm here for my friend. Can I get a cup of green tea and, and a glass of water? And just call it a day. There is nothing that says that you have to eat. You know, it's just, you just do it. And you'd be surprised, although I failed at this today, but back when I was in my sobriety journey, you'd be surprised if you make a big deal and say, well, I'm sober for three days, then we're all talking about that. And then that just makes it weird. 
It's none of their effing business. None of their fucking business. This is your journey, this is my journey, and it's more important that you stay clean. You stay clean. Now, whatever your eating plan is, you might not like what I, I'm doing, but whatever it is you decide to do, if you decide dairy's not good, and you're like, well, a little cream in my coffee at Starbucks, that's a habit, you gotta break. Sooner or later, you gotta stop doing those activities because decreasing the activity is not getting it done. Because you know what? You're dancing. Uh, Dr. Tro, who I put in one of the uh, uh, links, I'll put another link. He talks about the replacement idea that if you're drinking Cokes, you know, Diet Coke might not be the best or Coke Zero, but it's better than drinking real Coke, right? And what I started doing because of uh, James Clear is you need a trigger. When I wanted to drink a beer, I would make a cup of hot tea because I like hot tea. And I'd start my kettle. And that starting of the kettle, and then eventually I'd make my tea. And, if, and at some point, I'd just start the kettle, and that was enough of a signal to my brain, hey, we're not having that beer. And then eventually I just stopped wanting the beer. So I've got to stop eating the food. I've got to stop eating the food that I know is bad for me. I've got to stop eating the food that's bad for me. That's it. Stick to the plan. So I'm going back to day zero. I'm doing this. I don't, I'm not a big believer in counting the days. Like I know when my sobriety date is, but I couldn't tell you the exact number of days I've been sober because I don't really give a shit. I just don't. It's like I've already dealt with that. I don't drink, not gonna drink. Uh, it doesn't offer me anything. And you know what? Those are so pretty. Let me see if we can get these on camera. There's a little trumpet, little trumpets. There's a trumpet vine right here. And if I back up, just walking, I was like, what are those little orange things? You probably can't see them very well. But they're all up in this tree, that trumpet vine. I wish I was a little taller. The point is, I'm on day zero. And I'm going to have to count for a few days. Maybe a week, maybe 90 days as I make all these stupid videos. To break the habit. i got to reestablish the habit. I don't eat sweets. I don't eat starch. That's it. Primarily... Uh, eat carnivore and you know what if I have an avocado every once in a while I have an avocado just the way it is so as you can tell it's getting dark 823 right I didn't want to do this today I was tired I was pissed still pissed at myself I'm trying to be happy and uh, but I put on my little my little weight here I am walking. So the point is, focus, focus on that healing. And it's not anyone else's concern. This is your journey. No one gets to define that but you. So define it for yourself and get it done. Love to hear from you. There's links below. Leave me a comment if you see this video at some point. It, it, makes, a, it makes a difference to you even the slightest it would warm my heart if you want to have a call let me know i'm just a dude walking in some little middle class neighborhood out here in cedar park texas and uh you just never know you gotta be brave and put yourself into the world so i'm hoping that <laughs> in, in 90 days i'm still not fat we'll see that's the hope will he get it done Dun dun, stay tuned.